Hello, this is Keith with the Georgetown County School District and today I'm going to show you how to insert check boxes into a column in your Google Spreadsheets so that you can check off things. How many times do we need a checklist as educators? So here's the way that you can do that. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and put the things that I would normally have a list of, for example, schools or students, whatever you want to, to have in here. I actually usually skip this first column because I put a header up there about what it is I'm looking for in my checkoffs. So I go down to the second one and I will just go ahead and put those names in. Okay, once I have those names in, I'm going to go to the column that I want to have my uh, checkboxes in. And I can highlight the entire column if I want to make it all the way down for whoever, however many, a thousand or whatever. But I'm going to just highlight the rows or the, actually the column uh, cells that I want to have that particular checkbox in. And then I'm going to go up here. If you see, if you hover over, you see this little arrow. I'm going to click, a, click that down arrow. And I'm going to go all the way down. And the last thing on this sheet, and it's hard to see from here. Let me see if I can actually move this thing down so you can see it, is data validation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on data validation. And this says cell range A1 to A1000. And I'm going to go up there and change that because I only need, as you see over here, I only need 20. So I'm going to go over here and say A20. And I actually don't need one in column spot A1. So I'm just going to change that 1 to a 2. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this says list from a range. I'm going to click this and I'm going to say checkbox instead of list from a range. I will click the checkbox and then when I click save, it inserts those checkboxes in there for me to use. Now easy enough if I have, if I want to say this is going to be uh, say August meeting I have a checkbox there and here's what I think I'm going to do I'm going to just copy these two columns and then put them over here paste them again and paste them again and these are all probably just slide over just sort of as a divider kind of thing I could even color in between here to give a definition of uh, the place that I want to throw in a fill line to separate those columns there. I'll do the same thing here real quick. And I've got that there. Oh, missed a spot. And so after I've got that uh, where I want them, then I could do it. This would be an August meeting. This might be a fall site visit. Okay, and I'll come up here and I think I'll name this my PE schools roster check checklist okay and when I click over here you'll see that all changes saved in drive so it'll be in your drive folder so now when you're ready to do this you can either print this out as is you do a file and make a copy if you wanted to you can file and print if you wanted to what I think I prefer is just leaving it in here and then as I get schools that are represented in those meetings I can check them off here and it's going to do what save saving Right there, all changes are saved. So when I go to my fall visits, when I get to those particular schools, I can check it. I can always come back to it. And then whatever I want to have is my next assignment here or even here or here. And I can keep that spreadsheet going. So that's how you create a checklist and put checkboxes inside of your columns in Google Sheets. Hope this is something that you can use.